Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make your clip look like it's raining in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, important disclaimer on this is this is not gonna work for everything. It works for uh, some shots, and it's great if you just need a, you know, a quick thing to make it look like it's raining, but it's always better to get it in the field or to actually set up the scene, like putting water on the road and stuff like that to make it look like it's raining for later on. However, if you wanna do it, this is a technique to do it, and it's pretty fun to do to see if it works on different clips and to just change things around. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to drag in our footage to a new sequence. So I'm going to go up here, file new sequence, and then we're going to go in. And I just have this uh, in the footage here. And then so there we go. Now we have this going right like so. And as you can see, this is just a normal shot of some cars going by on a busy, busy highway. And so what we're gonna do is we need to do a couple of steps. We need to color correct this to make it look like more of the mood of uh, rain. We need to accent the highlights to make it look like that sort of shiny reflectiveness that you see whenever it's raining. As you can see in this one, it looks a little bit, the, the lights on the ground make it look like that the ground is actually just a little bit wet. And you can see the only thing that breaks the illusion is no one has their windshield wipers on. Like I said, it's not gonna work for everything and it's great for small little clips. Something quick enough where people don't realize that. But anyway, so that's what we need to do. We need to color correct, we need to add in the reflection, we need to add in our overlays, and then we need to add in that fog, that atmospheric thing to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is let's go ahead and add in our overlay. So what I have is just this overlay right here of some rain, and you'll see that it is just some rain falling right here, and we're gonna go ahead and cut off the beginning where it starts, and now we just have rain falling like so. So when I click on this, I wanna go over into effect control, so I'm on the rain overlay layer, and I wanna go down to screen, and now you can see that what we've created is a overlay where it looks like there's rain falling. However, this is way, way too intense, and it looks pretty fake at this point. So we wanna go ahead and lower the opacity down just a little bit, so maybe down to about 70%. Uh, and you can see it's looking a little bit better. And now what I like to do is go into the effects, go into the tint, so it's gonna be video effects, color correction, tint, drag that onto the overlay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tint that white over into a little bit more of a blue. We don't wanna to go too extreme. Maybe like right about there, about halfway between the two, sort of leaning more towards the white side. And what this does is it goes ahead and it, it makes them just a little harder to see and it makes it look like they're going a little bit faster. And then we also wanna make them go faster. So we'll click on our overlay, right click and go to speed duration. And let's go ahead and double this. Make them all just come by a little bit quicker just cause rain looks like it comes by a little bit quicker. Uh, overall. So now we have sort of the beginning of the rain overlay, and this is going to work whenever we get the color correction and everything going. Um, it, it should all flow together, and if not, we'll come back and make a couple of little edits. So the next thing we need to do, let's go into our color correction. So let's click on our original clip, and then go into the color tab. Uh, you can use the color workspace up here, and it'll be on the right side, or you can just search Lumetri color in your effects, drag it on, and work on it in effect controls. We want to start up here at basic correction. What I wanna do is I wanna bring the temperature down a little bit. So we wanna sort of give that slightly blue tint overall to everything. Then we wanna bump that contrast up. And you'll notice what the, that's doing is it's making the highlights just come out a little bit more. And it makes the road instantly look just a little bit more like it's reflective. Uh, just because we're taking those highlights, we're bringing them up, and then we're bringing the overall exposure. That's the opposite side of contrast. It brings the highlights up and the blacks down. So it brings the overall black down, makes it look a little bit more like rain. So maybe we wanna bring that up to about 53 right there. We wanna take the highlights and we wanna bring them up a touch as well. Like I said, whenever it's raining, it's just a little bit shinier out there. And then into the creative. I wanna go in the shadow tint and I'm gonna drag the the tint of the shadows down into the blue side a little bit. And this is just going to sort of create that little, the bluer image that, you know, is often associated with rain. So maybe right about there, that's looking pretty good. You can use this checkbox up here to see. And then we wanna take the highlight, and I actually like to go with whatever the light source is, the main light source. And in this situation, it's all of these sort of yellow car lights. So I'm gonna take the highlights and I'm actually gonna bring them a little bit into the yellow side. And that's just because whenever it's raining, you have sort of mist in the air and the highlights are going to bounce off all of those elements of mist and it's going to give you an overall color of whatever 
the highlights are. So if there are a bunch of blue lights in here, it would look a little bit bluer. If there are a bunch of purple lights, there'd be a lot of purple going on in here. So what I wanna do is I'm just gonna drag it so that it fits the, the highlights of this, which is all of those yellows. And so now what we have from the beginning, if we go up into our Lumetri, we can turn it off and on, is we've just taken it and we've turned it into just looking a little bit more like it would be with raining, especially with those highlights, they're sort of popping right now. The next step we wanna do is go down into the curves and now we're gonna really make those highlights pop. We're gonna go into this curve and we're gonna stick on the white, the Luma curve right here. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this and we're gonna drag it up a little bit. And then we're gonna go and make sure that the rest of it isn't affected. So we're gonna drag some of these in to make this fit the line. And what this does is it's just grabbing the highlights and it's really, really sort of bringing them out. Again, making that, that reflection happen. So you can see it's taking all of the highlights here, especially like look at here and here, uh, the middle of the, the, the um, headlights there. And you can see it's, it's making them a little bit sharper. And that's what looks, you know, more like the road is wet, right? Like so. And so now we have sort of two of the elements that we need. And let's go ahead and reduce this down just a touch more. The opacity in that feels a little, a little strong. And yeah, so now we're getting a pretty good effect here. What I also like to do is to go into the, um, is actually create a fog layer, an atmospheric layer. So you can see in here, we have that sort of background atmospheric layer, and that's what sort of makes it look a little bit rainier. And it also gives us the added benefit of it blocks the viewer's view a little bit. It makes it so that everything is a little bit harder to see, and therefore it's harder for the viewer to look at this and pick out that, wait, it's not actually raining. To do that, we're going to go ahead and create ourselves a graphic layer. So we're going to go into the rectangle tool. And then what I like to do is just drag out a big rectangle like so. And then now we have this gray rectangle and gray works pretty well for fog. Um, if you want a sort of a lighter fog, you can go really any direction you want. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter on the gray here. And then what we're going to do is to start creating some masks. So inside the shape panel, we're gonna go into effect controls, make sure you're on the graphic tab or on the graphic clip here, go up to effect controls, down into the shape, shape one, we can rename this. Um, so we don't have to call it shape one, maybe we can call it background fog like so. And then we're going to go into the create four point polygon mask, and we're gonna create a mask. We're gonna drag it up to the top right here. And then we're going to drag it across. We can hold the shift key to make sure that this is a straight line as we go across. And you can see we can't grab that one up, up top there. So we're gonna just drop this to 25%, drag that one over, and then drop it back down here. Whoops, drop it back to fit. And you can see that there's this line at the top and that's because the, the overall shape, as you can see, is only this big. So you can either affect the shape and make the shape larger, like jump out and make the shape larger, but in this situation, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the entire background here. I'm gonna go into the transform down to position, and I'm just gonna drag the entire layer up a little because we're not adding fog to the, the very front here, only to the basically halfway and back. So now you can see that that's all filled in. We can then go into our first mask, which we're going to rename to background. And we're going to feather that out, make it sort of really blend in there. And then we're just going to go into the mask as well, and then the mask opacity, and we're gonna drag that down. So we just want sort of a, a little bit of fog back there, maybe about that much. Let's fit and look at this. Yeah, that's looking pretty good, maybe just a touch more, right, like so. And you can see that it sort of blends in nicely with the front right there. And now we automatically have this effect. We can make, uh, I actually really like that look. Um, this one is a little bit more intense, but I sort of like this how it's already coming out so what i'm going to do is just add maybe one more layer here just to show you that you can sort of stack these on top of each other so if i go ahead and click on this mask go back into effect controls back to our background fog and then the mask background i can hit Control c v and that's going to duplicate it and then go up to this one on the top and then just grab it so if i click on it i the hand tool will come and i can grab it and just slide it down a little bit so we can slide it maybe to right here and then just drop down the opacity just a little bit or a lot. And this is going to sort of ease it out and extend it a little bit. So now what we have is we have this stronger background one and then this sort of really weak middle one. And it gives that transition of fog to no fog. 
And right there, I'm actually really liking how that came out. You can, it really adds that atmospheric background that makes it look like it is raining. Uh, because of course the rain is going to affect the light overall and it's going to sort of make it harder to see um, everything as you go farther and farther. Now, the last thing we can do, and I haven't done this in the other one, but we can also apply a tint to this graphic um, or we could just choose the color to be different, but I'm gonna apply a tint. And we can make those whites just slightly more into the yellows because like I said, everything is reflecting. Let's actually grab one of the headlights here. Um, like maybe the edge color right there like that. And we can go ahead and reduce the amount of this tint. Just give it a slight orange tint right there. And this is just going to, to sort of even more um, make the, the effect pop because again, like I said, the, the, the highlights are gonna be reflecting off that fog right there. And yeah, I think that looks pretty good right there. But that is how you do this. It's, it's a lot of different steps of applying layers and then color correcting and then sort of thinking about what would it look like in real life and then just trying to apply that through the effects we're given. We added the reflection to the ground, we added some rain effects in here and we might be able to look for a better rain overlay somewhere online. Um, and we also were able to add in that background fog as well. And all of those together makes it look like we have a rainy scene right here. And let me go ahead and change the tint on this, this uh, rain overlay, because I think actually making it more of a yellow might make it fit in a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, I think that does work pretty nicely, um, because now it sort of looks like all the light from the cars are shining through. It makes it look a little bit more natural right here. But that is how you do it. Uh, thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and that subscribe button and make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.